right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week, he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Ready? All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. Big punch lands over the top. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. They checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Oh, clipped him with the over. A couple of chins here being tested early. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to he is finding the target with every... And potentially a critical takedown here. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Circling to his right. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just blown. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today looking at focus bits in his opponent. Fighters back to their feet here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, another knee by goal. Strong transition there, he moves to his back. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Both balls. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hit to put his opponent on wobbly legs. And they both stand up. Huge elbow there. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Posturing up now. Now he's okay. Now he's in the skate. All right, side control now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Second round, straight ahead. This one's all eating the head. Knock him down, you're gonna knock him down again. I want you to finish him this time. Okay, go out there and sit.
right, round two. Oh! And just like... like that, the fight is over. All right, so without further delay, here we go. Round one is underway. This the UFC Welterweight Championship, and there is the champion out of the red corner working his way to the center of the octagon. He has defended this belt in the past and believes that he can do so again tonight. And here and still, he could go down as one of the greatest 170-pound fighters in UFC history. In order to do just that, he has said, I've got to get off to a good start here tonight. We'll see if he attacks offensively here. Or Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. That he comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Big knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Great punch. In the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks. Another take down land. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Attempting a choke now. Under the neck. Oh man, that was slick. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Massive head kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yep. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to see on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Back to the feet now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Big head kick lands. Change the fight. Another takedown land. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. That knee might have landed there. Straight punch land. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop it. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high cross entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be doubles. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground and Nice straight punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedown. It's all starting to bleed a little bit here. It looks like he sustained a cut in that eyebrow area. Oh! Oh! You don't understand. After you take a head seat like this, that Seeing enough action, he lets him back up. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy. Oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. Eight. All right, here one more time. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee.